Hi guys, so I recently placed an order with Tonic, uh, the US site, and um, it's here already, so it came really fast, so which is really great. So if uh, any of the items are still available, I have, excuse me, I will have them linked in the description box, and those would be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you are purchase items to those links. Uh, thank you guys so much for all the sweet comments. I know it's been like an Anna Griffin week and a half or two weeks, because um, I did pick up quite a few of her things, so like every day or every other day at least. Um, I've been having some Anna videos. Uh, I put out another one this morning. Oh, for this one. Yes, yes, yes. I still have this sitting in front of me because it's the last thing I worked on yesterday, but this, oh my gosh, you guys, I am in love. Thank you guys for your kind comments. I mean, oh my gosh. And then look at the bows. Oh, I was going to say, do we add a bow? No, <laughs> there he has a bow. <laughs> Oh, right there. Look at that. I'm telling you, I don't know if it can be too much. The bows are just so small and cute. Like, you can just pop them on there, and it's just a little something extra. That wouldn't work there, but oh my gosh. Super excited with the bows. I will have it linked. Um, apparently, I, I don't know if they brought that many in. A lot of times when they don't bring a lot of stuff in, they won't show it or they won't air it, you know? So I don't know. Who knows? And I don't have any of that information, guys, because I know a lot of times people ask me, you know, I do the reviews for like LDRS and Diamond Press and things, but that doesn't mean I know anything about HSN. And having said that, a lot of times the vendors don't know. Uh, HSN just does what they do, so um, that's that. The reason I have this lighter here is because I just picked one up at the dollar store because um, you guys know I like to singe the ends of my uh, bows whenever we use them, like when I make my own bows. So that's what that's there. So, all right. It's a little thin, but now. it's all dyes, so I didn't pick up anything else that was like literally anything else so let's open this up and see what we got let me see if I don't have a receipt right on top or something because of course I do um, I want to bring this out in a way that'll be fun because I did pick up a mystery bundle which I haven't done in a while um, which is at the top so I'll put that down there and let's check it out guys so crafting until further notice oh my gosh I love this where's my other little sign uh, I'm talking away from the camera you probably can't hear me I have another sign of theirs that has to do with like Love is a well-stocked craft room or something like that, so they always give you like a little postcard. This is so funny, crafting until further notice. That is so cute! I will put this somewhere so I can, I'll put it with my other one when I find it. I had it behind me just in case like if I did a video you would see it, but oh well. Oh, okay, yes, the door hanger! Yay! So, this is so cute guys, because I don't know if you've noticed, okay, they put this, um, you know, I, I'm not sure exactly when this came out because, um, I just don't know. I've just seen it recently in like um, these kind of deals. And I think, well, I don't know actually if this one's still on sale. I think it was on sale on Wednesday. Did I order this stuff this Wednesday? Yeah, I did. I ordered this on Tuesday, you guys, and it got delivered just right now. So that's really fast. Um, so people are asking like why their sales on the US site are on Tuesday when it's supposed to be a Wednesday deal because they go by the UK time. So when it's midnight over there, that's when those deals launch, and that's usually. Uh, they're eight hours ahead, <laughs> so I don't know around three or four o'clock. They'll post them here, you know Something like that. Sometimes they're available in the morning even uh, Tuesday mornings, so um, This set is so cute though because it has spring it has Halloween and it has Christmas all in the one So you have your little door hanger and let me tell you the largest die is I told the kids, oh, this will be a quick video, guys, because, you know, it's Saturday and they're <laughs> at home. But I'm, like, going to talk about everything on here, of course. Uh, three and a quarter by three and a quarter by 6.6. .6. So I'm assuming the, I don't know why there's three measurements. Um, it must be, like, a, you know, the shape. I don't know, kind of awkward or something. But it's basically, I think, this, and then it just folds in. I'm not sure. But that's the largest die, it says. Yeah, exactly. And then we have these pieces. So look at this. So on either side, you can do the inlay that's like flowers. You can do the inlays that are like holidays. You can just do the outer portion with pattern paper. And then on the little uh, topper area, you can put this gorgeous thing here that's like all scrolly and cool. So you can put the word spooky in there. You have a little um, sprig. You can do deck the halls, boo, and it has a flower and happy Easter. And then I'm not sure what this is, but some kind of something you have to uh a little probably tool part of this i'm assuming it's probably what's going to hold this maybe as you can see it's like a funky shape and then all these little uh triangles that are like the daisy what looks kind of like a stylized uh web the little easter eggs and then like little um snowflakes this is so cute i just love that it's for like everything so gonna be really fun 
you guys. So I missed out on the crystal containers. I slept on the, I don't know what happened, but they sold out really fast whenever they had a bundle a couple weeks ago um, during March Madness, and I was so bummed out, and then I'm like, okay, well, maybe I can still pick up this part, but then that, and I thought, well, maybe I should just wait and see if they bring a bundle back again, so I'm going to wait on that, but this was very similar to that, and this is something they just launched, the Irresistible Cookie Jar die set, and um, so the largest die is 5 by 4.3 inches, so I'm giving you that info in case you're wanting to order it and then um, you're not sure if it works with your die cutting system but again I mean I think this is going to be another one that works up pretty quickly this one is a one two three four it's an octagon shape <laughs> right wait hold on one two three four five six seven eight yeah so it has the eight sides and then these pieces so you know I'll, I'll create these as we at some time soon <laughs> for you guys I'm just trying to look at because it has the eight sides but this has and that has the three so yeah there's gonna be some different ways to play with this of course I'm assuming because that's yeah hmm okay very cute I think it's very adorable and they also came out with a bundle with some other dies that to me don't really go together but they're just like a, a collection that they put out at the same time so the other dies that go with this and with the bundle have like oval like really intricate oval shapes and really pretty stuff so I picked up just the cookie jar on this one I did pick up the bundle which is the typewriter and the um, the little camera you guys and I don't know if this just makes like a dimensional item you, go, you guys know I just grabbed it because I was like yes <laughs> I saw it. So again, I'll have all those things linked in there. But um, so it says uh, it creates a decorative typewriter box, and then the measurement of the box is 4.2 by 2.3 by 4.2. The largest die is. Let me see if I have that info. Okay, uh, 4.8 inches by 3 inches. I mean, look how cute this little guy is. And what I'm assuming, yes. Okay, perfect. I was like, is it a gift box or is it just like a shaped cute thing? Um, I think you can open this back piece. That's what it looks like to put like whatever little gift you might want to put in there. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm just. Oh, and it has the flowers. Oh, <laughs> they, I totally sold out. The, well, I totally sold out. I, what am I saying? They, they sold out of this one. Um, it's like an envelope box. I don't know if you guys saw it. And then it had a bunch of flowers, the foliage. I think the foliage is still available and it's a really cute set. So I'm probably going to pick that up next. Um, but the base envelope thing had sold out and it's like for a dimensional envelope, which apparently a lot of people are doing right now. I know there's another company on uh, Craft Stash that does um magic something or i can't remember the name of the company but they have very similar die set and i was like oh i guess that's the thing for right now that's what the trend right now uh but it's really cool it's like a dimensional envelope and you can close it or leave it open and it's like a stuffed pocket basically but it's like this big envelope why do i keep feeling like my chair oh i hope my stool's okay <laughs> i keep feeling like it moving i'm like what's going on um, this is just the cutest. Oh my gosh, I'm super excited to try that out. Look at this little guy. Oh my gosh. So when you open it, it has like a little accordion pocket. Oh my goodness. Even better. Again, the little flowers, all that stuff. And this makes it a little dimensional box that says, let me see if this one tells you. Uh, the gift, uh, yeah, a gift box measuring 4.6 by 3.5 by 2.7. You guys. And then the largest die is 8.2 by 3.9. So it's kind of a thin, long die again as far as the length i'm always caught up on like the width of something because the length you can always just extend your own cutting folders or like that length right there 8.2 by 3.9 will definitely fit in a marquee extended folder but let's say you just had the regular folder you would run it through and then rearrange your paper so that the rest of it is in there and then run that through some people put two of them together <laughs> two of the short ones like this you know your paper and your die and you sandwich it and as you push it through it brings in the other piece and just keep going so there's always hacks, you know, with the length of something. Um, and then if you buy the bundle, it comes with the uh, photopolymer stamp set with the little keyboard on there and some words that you can pop into, like the little paper here, which is really cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then I have the Easter, what I consider an Easter um, designer's choice die set. Um, you guys know... They send things for review. They don't send everything for review. And when I say review, it's really... I guess with Tonic, I'm more of a content creator. So really, it's a video that I'm making to use their products to show it. But at the same time, I do my videos the way I do my videos. And they're always a review <laughs> tutorial, basically. So I always call it the same thing because that's just, I think how I do it so I always call them that they've never told me to not call it that <laughs> because that's my video right so um so I don't get everything and then so the items obviously I bought these things I know whenever I say a haul it means I paid for it um a lot of times I've seen sometimes people would get free things for a review and they still call it a haul and that's kind of disingenuous because a haul means you paid for it otherwise it's just 
a review or a tutorial or whatever. I don't know. That's just my opinion, I guess. So this is one of the designer's choice for this month that came out that I did not receive. It's called Bunnies and Blooms or something like that. I don't know. It's not on here. Which is kind of interesting. Sometimes it says it on here. The designer's stories are so cute because they always come in a little pouch. You can put them in the designer's choice um, binder if you want or you just have your storage pouch. And this is how it comes if you only order this with that reduced shipping. And I really think the reduced shipping is $2.99 now. It used to be $2. So just <laughs> so you guys know if you see a difference there, that's what it is. Um, I love the case. And sometimes it's lavender. Sometimes it's like a light blue or like a pink. This one's like peachy. Super cute. Anyway, the dies are awesome. Jumped on that to get that for myself and so this one is um, just about five inches tall maybe a little over five inches tall and about four inches wide you know maybe I'll have a video oh no tomorrow's the craft kit launch day isn't it with tonic yeah so I'll have that video to show with you guys I was like hmm, do I have something for Sunday yet um, and then this one if I'm measuring in a funky way like this way it's like five and a half inches but really it's like five inches tall I'm just trying to get that length and um, look how, I mean, the Happy Easter, the bunny silhouettes are so cute, and especially because they have that little embossing. I'm just super excited about this set. The little eggs, and then there's the eggs with different legs. I was thinking about pantyhose <laughs> when I said legs, or reminded me of those old school pantyhose. Uh, do they still sell those? I guess, I don't know. Um, this outer part, and then the inner uh, inlays, which it has some different ones. I mean, this guy is the outer die, this inside die, and then this one obviously is a layer, and then it has just that oval which is going to be awesome for like anything um, and then it has the inner one with the little dots and then it has an inlay if you want to use that it says happy easter and this one says um hopping probably by hopping by to say hi or something right that would make sense hopping by to say hi yeah and then of course this one has its outer it has that other one these are two different things so this is its own matte layer is what i'm trying to say it's not an inlay but this one is an inlay if you want to use it that way and this one also has the scallop but then this is an inlay if you want to use it or don't use it right so you have that awesome scallop that you can pair up with this guy later i mean this is just its own frame there i mean oh, so cute i was really excited last month was the floral fantastic floral i always forget their names a lot of times it's florals and delights and <laughs> the way they name their things but um for 9.99 right i hope they do that more often because i think that was really fun just like a smaller it was basically half this right that smaller set and then half the price which uh, a lot of people uh took advantage of to try out their stuff if you haven't tried out tonics uh items yet now this is the um what's it called um mystery bundle i haven't bought a mystery bundle in a long time i was doing it very often at the beginning they would sell out we would always buy them and that's kind of when i was first getting into picking up tonic stuff but now i have so many of their items like the mystery bundle started repeating right so i always do that whenever i get involved in a company first to have mystery bundles i'm grabbing them right because i don't really have a lot of their stuff so i picked one up now just for funsies so why not let's see mini sentiment die set and this one says welcome home okay so i happen to have these and this is actually the die set that i helped um a little bit i guess uh they had asked what kinds of quotes or things that maybe americans say more often or like it would make most sense more sense you know uh, with the u.s market so i was able to give them some uh i don't know just some suggestions so that was really fun so we have welcome home and um so i already have this one and then the HBTU I also already have, again, from that same uh, sentiment set that came out a little while ago. But HBTU, super cute. Oh, look at this one. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love this kind of thing. And I'm telling you, Tonic just does. So this one has the outline diary or matte. It has an inlay. It has this other one that makes another, you know, um, matte layer. And then again, inlay. So you can already have several ways to play with that. Like these two together with the inlay. Without the inlay, you have a frame, you have the matte, you have whatever. And then another little uh, matte layer on the inside there. I was just going to say, is this from something Pacific? <laughs> like my daughter would say, something specific. Mini Jasmine Sunset Die Set. Only oh, because I'm looking at these little purses and I don't know. <gasps> is that what this does? <laughs> I think this purse is still available and I was like, oh, it's okay. Look, it has like the little slider. So when you put it down, the little butterflies with slides and locks it in. Oh my gosh. Okay, maybe I have to look into that. All right. <laughs> Oh, this is awesome. I'm so sorry, Sentiment Die Set. Honestly, other than the first two, so far these are all ones I don't have. I forgot. I'm so sorry. It's late. I'm so, I, honestly, <laughs> this Die Set is right up my alley because this is exactly how I do things. Um, the largest one is two and a quarter inches, or two and a quarter, probably the circular. Eh, circular, this one. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. So it's a, I'm so sorry, Sentiment Die Set. 
And let's check this one out. Oh my goodness, this is so intricate and so pretty. What they're showing here is that Sorry, gift yeah, tag. I was guessing at which one this is. Um, it's a luggage tag box die set. I wonder if this other one tells you about... Well, it just says projects shown were crafted using luxury clutch bag die set. I'm not sure what it has to do with that. So anyway, um, maybe it's just inspo. Just like, hey, it's pretty. Uh, this one's the mini devoted doily die set. And I mean, look at this. So again, the outer one, this one's kind of like a mat. I don't know if you can see this die. And then we have an inlay. And then we have this one that cuts a circle, but it's like stylized all cool. And then another inlay on that one. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, this is so pretty. Yay. Happy to have that. Ooh, craft die set. Compatible with most die cutting systems. That's what it says. Blushing Blossom Diamond Patchwork Die Set. Again, some inspo there. Very pretty. Just a little something. That's interesting. I wonder, I'm wondering why it has these little lines. A lot of times when they have these little lines, it means it lines up with something. So I'm wondering about that. But anyway, it has the inlay die and then this outer diamond. Kind of interesting shape. Oh, what is this? Staggered Art Deco Header Folded Header Fold Die Set. I will definitely have to check this one out. But with these, generally what you do is, it's like a, an inlay, but it soon has this edge. I think you can do it on the edge kind of die. I'm always curious of these dies because why does it have this harsh edge over here, like this line? So I'm always curious of how or why this is how Tonic does it. You know, when you have like Crafts Companion dies or other ones, or even Tonic, they have other ones where it'll be a die... It'll be a cut line that you just pop on there. But then they ha this one, it has this other piece. Like, what, what is this about? <laughs> you know, because it cuts. It doesn't just, like, score or anything. So it's very interesting. We'll have to check that out. So, little Art Deco inlay. Oh, yay! You know what? I have something similar to this. It was from one of the craft kits early on when I was um, reviewing for them, I believe. Uh, so, over a year ago. Um that kind of has this shape but it's longer if you guys remember I'm trying to think of what it was like Nordic bobble box or something like that I don't remember what craft kit number it is but I remember that's kind of the name so this one looks like the same kind of thing but it's short <laughs> if you remember the other one was like longer and thinner I don't know so cute oh I love their boxes you guys so this is the flourishing heart squeeze box die set it has a little tag and all kinds of fun things of course I will tutorialize this um, yeah, so I'm looking at this. It says, introducing our beautiful squeeze boxes with our brand new Flourishing Heart squeeze box die set. Perfectly sized to hold treats. So this is interesting because sometimes on their website, I'm like, I try to see kind of what's going on by the pictures they have. And like, if you saw the back of this, you're like, okay, it has these insert pieces. So where's the base die, right? I don't know why they show it that way sometimes. Like on the other one, they showed pretty much all the dies that are in there. Um, but it does have the base die. Obviously, you see it out here. But, like, they do that sometimes, and I, I don't know why. I feel like they should put all of them, because I have other uh, sets where... They have sets where you do need a base die to for the other ones to work, right? So that's kind of why I'm, I'm always like, well, what's going on here? Because it's showing me, like, these pieces, but where's the base? So it's in the picture. It's just, you know, sometimes, the, you know, I don't know. But, again, this was a mystery set, so I had no idea what was coming anyway. Um, I do want to show you this little guy real quick once again, because... I am just a huge fan of this. Oopsie. And I'm probably going to make another one today, honestly, when sh with shabby chic colors. And I was thinking about doing a cream or a light pink base and then um, all the other pieces. Because it worked up so quick and they're so cute, you guys. So I know this is still a bundle. Oh, probably until today or maybe not anymore. Again, they go by <laughs> British times. Um, because this is with their Sunday deal. It was the uh, bundle of the Tiffin boxes. But, like, you guys, I am just so I impressed with Miranda saw She was like, that is so cute. But, um... Just really sweet uh, box. If you guys saw the video, it works up real quick, in my opinion, I mean, for something like this. And it was just a lot of fun. So I am, um, hopefully today we'll have some time, because what I'm going to do is just cut the bigger pieces here, and I'm just going to sit on the couch and, you know, cut all my little pieces out and just glue them on with, like, the marquee, you know. So anyway, all right, guys, I did want to show you that, because the bundle is this plus the, the pyramid shape one. Uh, which does work up a little bit differently if you um, look at the pieces on that one. Um, where this one is the one die and you just fold everything in. The other one you are going to have to build up the sides. But, you know, it's basically free. <laughs> the, I mean, and it costs less than the price of just this one that I had picked up. The uh, Tiffin um, die set that I bought by itself. This one. So, anyway. Alright, guys. Well, thanks for watching. I'll have the links in the description box. And, um, yeah. So, I'll see you guys at the next one. I hope you're all doing well. Alright, bye now.